Here's yet another time that we're gonna tie it together, all three of our pieces. So let's say you've placed your cams, but you do not have your cordelette and you do not have your quad. But what you do have is a four foot sl sewn sling. One of your options will be to clip this in and create something very similar to the quad. Notice what I'm doing here is putting in an overhand knot and I'm gonna put it in kinda loose because maybe I don't want it here. But sometimes I'm better than I realize. I'm gonna clip in this next one up here and I'm gonna create another overhand knot. And I'm gonna clip it in here. Now, it doesn't look as symmetrical as I wanted it to, so I wanna move this knot up a little bit. And I'm gonna move this knot down just a little bit to get them right, right where I want them. Oh, I like that. So I've created something similar to the quad, but notice there's only two strands here. And just like the quad, if I clip in to both of them, I'm gonna lose my redundancy because if this anchor should fail, this will fall out. Also, if I clip into one, and this strand were to be cut, it will also fail. But if we look up here, the answer is right above us, the sliding X. The sliding X will give us that redundancy that we're looking for, because should one of these legs of the anchor fail, it will stay on here, limiting that extension.